Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to do part two of Unity Elite's War with a Top 50 Chinese Clan. This episode, we are only going to focus on the best three star raids in this war. This was a great attack here. You'll see we've got a mass witch raid. You haven't seen this in a while. This is really cool to see. It's not as effective as when it first came out, so it's not as popular. When the witch first came out, it had a really, really long projectile range. So the witch actually shoots too. Um, it has a very weak shot, but it shoots stuff, as well as the skeletons do a lot of the work. But the witch used to sit way far back from everything, and so it didn't get hurt much. The witch was away from all the action, and didn't really get killed very easily. Now, the witch is very vulnerable. It'll hit big bombs quite often. Uh, a mortar can kill it very easily, so it's kind of a risky strategy. Witches take up 12 spots, so if you have a ton of witches and they can all get killed by one shot from a bomb, it's obviously risky. However, your heroes are going to do a lot of the work and your supporting troops like wizards, um, Pi here has a P.E.K.K.A as well. Your supporting troops are going to play a huge role. Witches are really going to just shield and do a little of the damage. They swarmed the base here. They did a great job. Uh, Multi-Infernos are the most devastating against witches. They burn through them really fast, just like any, you know, just like any uh, low hit point troop. But uh, this base had one single, which helped a lot. Single Infernos are easy to overwhelm with witches because there's so many troops running around. So, Pi got through all of the splash damage. He's pretty good. Uh, his witches are basically all dead, but he's got just barely enough troops left to take out this final expo and the final buildings. Really, really cool raid. Let's see if he can wrap it up, but uh, just really great raid. Interesting spell composition, too. Um, I believe he only had one freeze, a jump, and a bunch of rages. Really cool. And uh, he didn't really have to worry about the enemy heroes or the enemy CC because, well, there were so many skeletons on the playing field. They took care of that no problem. 97%. He's got the last two buildings. Thankfully, his king is still up with a couple wizards. If it was just his king or just that one P.E.K.K.A., it might be too slow to get the rest of the buildings. Oh, he had a heal spell in there too. That's right. That, that was a really cool co army composition uh, and spell composition. Really interesting to see the heal spell in there with the jump. The jump is common with a witch army. Um, just to get those skeletons over walls so they don't get stuck on walls and get smashed by splash defenses like wizard towers and mortars. Let's see what else we got. We had a lot of great raids this war. Not a lot of three stars because, well, these guys had max bases or you know really good designs. But that's okay. We ended up with uh, at least three stars. And we're going to show them all right now. Here's one from Beta Drill. Awesome attacker. This guy is definitely one of the top guys in Unity Elite. He definitely specializes in war. And uh, he can do it all. He can do a great go wipe or go wee wee that often three stars. But he does the hog attack really well. And that's what we're going to see here. He's going up against a dragon in the CC, which in my opinion is the easiest to go up against. With um, CC troops that you're facing, I would think the hardest for me is when there's witches and archers in the clan castle. It's the easiest to mess up on. Um, or witches and wizards. But with a dragon, it's just one big troop. Your troops will target it easily, and uh, it's easy to take out in that regard. So you'll see here he's got his hogs on the playing field real fast. He used three fingers to just spam them in there fast. He's not going to worry about freezing that single inferno because it's slow. It's not going to kill that many hogs. That multi inferno just got taken out and he's looking pretty good. The only problem is this expo and this single inferno didn't get taken out. I'm sure the hogs will loop back around now. Yep, they're coming back around to take it out. But uh, I always worry about high HP buildings like that. If they don't get taken out, um, if a wizard walks up to him, he's not going to do anything. He's going to get killed in a second. So you want to take those out as soon as possible. Now it's just clean up. Enemy BK is chasing after his hogs, but you can see he can't do anything. He's like, takes one swipe and then has to run 
to catch up with the hogs. Hogs are just too fast. I wouldn't say you should normally ignore the BK in a hog raid, but sometimes you can. Sometimes you can, and once the hogs are done with the defenses, they will engage the Barb King and kill him. So that's what happened. He's at 92%. He does have to get into the core to get that town hall. The hogs are fast, and they just jump walls, and they'll jump right in there and get that. 99% one star right now. Get the town hall and seal the last two stars. Awesome bait. Awesome raid beta. Call him beta. This dude knows what he's doing. It's great to watch raids like this. Um, I do hogs sometimes, but some of the guys in my clan just do it perfect every time, and it's great to see. He had uh, three heals, one rage, and one freeze. That's the ideal composition against uh, one multi-inferno and one single, which you will see a lot in clan wars. People will alternate, you know, one inferno single, one multi. And you really only need to freeze that multi. You don't need to freeze the single. As you saw there, you might want to rage through the core. Those buildings are really heavy and it takes hogs a long time to get through them. But, once you get that multi down, if you don't run out of time, you pretty much got it. Here is Slomi. Awesome attacker. He is doing... What's he got here? A go wipe, kind of? Yeah. Go wipe with a couple witches. This is this is really the army of choice for me. It's a versatile army, and uh, P.E.K.K.A.s are really the main event in this, but witches and wizards really seal the deal for the three star. The P.E.K.K.A.s will crush through the core with your heroes, and after that, if you have a couple witches left, maybe maybe one or two golems still alive, you can oftentimes three star, and we'll we'll see that here. He's using the jump early, looks like, to get in. I uh, see a lot of people jump out of the core. That's also a good strategy. But with uh, walls like this, he can break through these walls. It's not a big deal. On the base with level 11 walls or even level 10, it's hard to break those walls. So you want to jump out of the core whenever possible. He's got a lot of troops alive here. This is, this is going perfectly. So these troops are all bunched up. Pekkas, groups of Pekkas, they can smash through walls, no problem. Even when they're not on the rage spell, they can they can move pretty quickly. Only thing that scares me is this Tesla here, Max Tesla against a Pekka, does 198 damage per second. That's insane. It fried one of them. Ooh, you hate to see Pekkas not engage a Tesla and go somewhere else because they're just getting smoked. But you know, they can't they can't think about such things. They just go for the closest thing to them. 77% not looking like a three star at the moment, but let's see what he can pull out here. This is this is exciting. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> Archer Queen with full uh, not full health, but pretty good health. That's good to see. Um, if you save the ability towards the end and let her get down to almost no health and then activate that ability, sometimes you'll just be in the perfect position to get the last few defenses or smash the last few walls and just get it get the three star wow he he had like a, a quarter of this base left it wasn't looking that good but now he's got one defense left this is awesome great raid three star seal the deal word that was awesome two raids two freeze one jump go wipe only eight wall breakers that's why he jumped into the core well all in all i i really enjoyed the raid four witches bunch of barbs there that was, that was great great to watch Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this clan war footage as much as I did. I really enjoyed watching everything from this war, and we did end up winning. We ended up with, uh, let's see, we, we two-starred every base and then three-starred three, so we had 83. I believe they ended up with 76 or 78. So we narrowly won, but won nonetheless. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.